Hey guys, what's up? It's Sarah from AppFun and AppleWisdom.com here, and uh, the new iPad was not the only thing to come out of today's Apple Keynote. Another cool thing that came out is the iOS 5.1 update. Now what this is supposed to do is has a ton of different bug fixes, um, a bunch of different improvements, and uh, it uh, addresses the uh, bugs affecting the uh, battery life. So it's definitely really good, really great. Today we're going to be talking about some of the features of it. And the next video is actually going to be showing you how to get it. But first, let's uh, talk about the features. Now what it's going to do is it's going to have bug fixes. Uh, it's going to include Japanese language support for Siri. Um, and it's limited uh, until it's initially actually released. But... Um, it's going to have the Japanese language support for Siri. Photos are going to be able to be deleted from the photo stream uh, right on your device. The camera shortcut will um, be uh, always visible on the lock screen for the iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. The uh, camera face detection uh, highlights and detects faces. Uh, the redesigned camera app uh, is in the iPad as well. There is um, updated AT&T network uh, indicator, um, and the most important and biggest thing that it affects is um, the battery life bug. This is actually going to be able to fix the battery li life bug that uh, actually has been affecting tons of different um, tons of different devices and stuff. So what this will do is it'll actually uh, fix that. And you'll be able to download this, and you won't have any more of the battery problems. It will also fix the occasionally um, dropped outgoing calls audio problem as well. Now remember guys, stay tuned for the next video, which will actually show you how to download iOS 5.1. Don't forget to check out the other videos on the new iPad, and all the new videos that are coming out. Uh, link to the playlist at the top right. I'll see you guys later. I'm Alfred from AppFun and AppleWisdom.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.